there. We're here today to give you a tour around the Junction, Young People Health and Wellbeing Project. This is a project for young people aged 12 to 21 in Leith and North East Edinburgh. The Junction is based at 82 to 86 Great Junction Street and offers lots of brilliant support and health and wellbeing services. But we know it can be a bit scary to go into a building you don't know for the first time. So we decided to create this short film so hopefully it makes it a bit easier for people. By giving them a good nosy inside and a chance to meet the staff. One of the first things you'll notice when you arrive is that there's a purple door and a green door. I just came through the purple door and we'll get back to the green door in a bit. But first, let's head to the main reception area. If you were coming for a pre-arranged meeting, like an access meeting, you would also come to the main reception area. Hi! Hello, welcome Hi. to the junction. I'll give you this form to fill out and give me a shout if you need any help with that. Can I get you a tea or coffee? No thanks. At the junction, we're here to help young people. We are a free service and anything you share with us is kept completely confidential. You always get a really warm welcome when you come to the junction. Hi there, I'm Michael, I'm one of the project workers. Do you want to come through this way for a wee chat? So we run our walk-in a couple of times a week and that is a safe space for young people to come and chat about anything that's on their mind. Anything we chat about is confidential and we're here to support you. Let's go back to reception to find out some more. Yeah, you do. Take it easy and maybe see you again. Yeah, thank you. Out. See you later on. Cheerio. You would also come to reception for a counselling session. Hi there. You ready for your session? Yes. This is one of the rooms that you might come to for your counselling one-to-one -one sessions. It's also the room that you might come to for your access appointment. Your access appointment is a place where we can get to know each other and have a bit of a discussion and decide what service is for you. There's loads of other interesting things going on at the junction. Let's go have a look around. This room is also used for one-to-ones. Exploring your health and well-being through creative activities. Sessions to help you find your voice. Massage. And sometimes even filmmaking. Do you remember that green door from earlier? So this is the green door, and this is where young people would come if they want to visit the drop-in. But what's different with this door is that you have to press a buzzer to get in. Hiya, I'm Ian. Welcome to the drop-in. And you come. Okay, I'll get you for that out. Yeah. That'll be great. The drop-in's on a couple of times a week. It's a safe space for young people. The difference between the drop-in and the walk-in is you can bring a friend along too. When you arrive, there might be other young people chilling and chatting in the drop-in. You can speak to a worker in a private space. There's always a range of health and wellbeing activities that young people can take part in. We hope you enjoyed this short film and found it helpful. Remember, for any information about the junction, times and what it has to offer, please check out our website, www.the-junction.org. Here's some words from other young people who have used the junction. 
I love the junction because everyone is very kind, helpful and friendly. From the moment you walk in the door when you're offered tea and coffee to the friendly support you get from the workers. I love the junction because I can talk about whatever I want and not be judged and feel completely safe here. I felt very able to talk at the junction because there was no prejudgment, no boxes to tick or task I had to accomplish. It was all very free and friendly. I feel more like myself since coming. I'm more open now. If I feel anxious, I now don't wait. I tell someone how I'm feeling. I loved the junction because it helped me understand my emotions and why I was feeling the way I felt and that there wasn't something wrong with me.